Good morning, happy Thursday or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video. It is Thursday, December 3rd. Couple of announcements. Announcement number one, get those missing assignments turned in. I will try to send out an updated grade report letting you know what you are missing. Uh, make sure you get those assignments turned in by the end of tonight, tomorrow morning, first hour, the four team teachers sit together and we're gonna come up with a list of names of kids who need to have games taken off their iPads because they're missing work. You cannot turn work in throughout the day and get those games back. Okay, unfortunately, there was some confusion last week, so we wanna clear that up. Whatever is not turned in by the end of the day today, okay? That means you can email me tonight and I will get that updated and that's fine. Okay, but whatever is not turned in by first hour tomorrow is gonna count as missing work and you're gonna lose your games. Now, if you lost your games last week, but you got completely caught up on everything this week, you will get the chance to get those games back. And I'll talk to each of you tomorrow. That's announcement number one. Announcement number two. I want to explain why at the beginning of every hour we are reading your books. For some of us, we're driven. We want to read books because it's fun and we just jump right in. We've got free time. We're reading a book. But there are other times and there are others of us who just aren't as motivated right now to read books. You know in the back of your mind, you know what? It'd be good for me to read a book. I kinda like to read a book, but it's just so much work. That's the way I get sometimes when I go to, um, I like to jog. And sometimes I don't wanna jog. It's so much work to go outside. I'd rather just sit on the couch and watch TV. Sometimes I need someone to go with me and say, all right, all right, let's go. Come on, come on, we're gonna go for a jog. We're gonna go for a jog, okay? You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, let's go for five more minutes. We don't wanna stop now, five more minutes, five more minutes. Sometimes you need that person with you to push you just a little bit further. You know you want to, but you're just, you're, you're kinda like, ah, oh, it's so much extra work, okay? This is what I'm doing for you. I'm like that personal trainer for your mind. I'm getting you pumped up in the mind, okay? I'm getting you ready, inspired. I'm making you want to read, okay? Even when you don't want to read, in the back of your mind, you know what's good for you, but it's so much work that you're like, ah, I don't. This time where I'm holding you accountable for your reading is going to push you. Now, I was having trouble getting through a book. I liked it, but I was having trouble getting through that book because I didn't, I don't know, I just wasn't finding the time, I was getting so busy, but I used you guys as my motivation. The reason why I finished the Maximum Ride book was because I thought, you know what? My kids are reading books right now, I better read books right now, otherwise I'm not living up to what I'm making them do, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're rolling the sleeves up, and we're gonna do some reading. So right now, I want you to get out your book. You're gonna fill out your log again today. It is the book you are reading in class today. Even if you forgot your book at home, borrow one of mine and write down the title and the author of the book you read in class today. The page number you start on in class, the page number you end on in class. We'll have about seven minutes to read, okay? So get started on that. Uh, until next time, be awesome! Woo!